Hello, welcome back. It's been a while since I turned out a video, so I thought I would show you a little um, experiment that I started here last year around October. It's the middle of February right now, and what we did was I had these, these uh, super hot peppers come in. I ordered them live, and they came in late, so they didn't get much of a chance to grow last year. So I decided I would leave, as an experiment, I would leave part of them out in the greenhouse and bring part of them in here to see how each one did. Uh, the ones in here did really well. The ones out in the greenhouse, not so well. The, uh, our problem around here in the Pacific Northwest is light more than anything. And uh, out of the six I left out there, I think three are still alive. And now that the, the daylight has changed, we're, we're starting to see some buds come out on those. The other ones went on to the great beyond. So let me show you what I did here with this um, with this thing. I built this kind of quickly. It's going to get some modifications come uh, the time when all this gets moved out into the, into the yard where it belongs. Uh, you can see the base of this uh, structure. It's nothing more than a bunch of 2x4s. Uh, put together in a box and then a, a two by two at the bottom of the base nail into it and then I put a piece of three quarter inch or one half inch plywood on top of that to form the the uh, the bottom caulk the whole thing all the way around and just painted it with uh, exterior house paint it forms, it forms as a real nice drip tray and uh, keeps that wonderful water off your carpet. As far as the, uh, the peppers go, most of the, all these are super hot. So you got a yellow devil's tongue down here. Here I got uh, some Marugus, Marugus scorpions and I got a butch tea back there. But they're all super hot and I, I didn't I put nothing but daylight bulbs over them. I wasn't really concerned about growing any fruit. If I was I'd put some red bulbs over them. But uh, as you can see here, the um, I'm getting plenty of buds all of a sudden coming up here. These things have been trimmed back twice, so they've been growing all winter long. Uh, doing fairly well too. Um, up here, you see the lights are a combination of store bought. I think that one cost me sixty-four dollars back there and the homemade ones. And these homemade ones, the link to how to make these is be right below the video in the description box. I uh, click on over and see how it's made. The only difference between what he has and what I did were these uh, ceramic receptacles I used instead which uh, I just felt better with the ceramic receptacles not cracking and uh, being more durable. Uh, one of the other things I changes I made was with this here. This light, uh, it's a basically a splitter for bulbs. You just screw it in underneath of the in the receptacle and put whatever bulbs you want in. It allows you to uh, spread out the bulbs a little bit more and uh, get an extra bulb in there other than the splitter he was using. Uh, what you will have to do though is put in a extender. Let me see if I can find the extender. Uh, how do I put it? But the, basically they're, they're like the, the Y here but they're just a single piece and they, they drop the, the light fixture down a little bit more so that you can get past the arc on the, on the, uh, the light fixture. So the bulbs will bounce up against it. You get it down low enough and the bulbs screw in no problem at all. Uh, all of them are running 100 watt daylight bulbs which run 14 watts each which means you're getting about 100 and it's, each fixture is only pulling 126 watts of power and generating somewhere around 13,000 lumens. Not ultra bright but enough to do the job and uh, burning a 100 watt bulb for 12 hours a day, really no problem. It's actually cheaper than the fluorescent light back there that you saw. As far as up here goes, I scabbed on another piece of uh, 
wood with some OSB siding on top and just use that as a, a platform. These are the peppers I've been growing for this year. They're coming along nicely. The only thing I have to say is aphids. I don't know where they come from. I don't know how the hell they get in here. But they're showing up on just these plants up above. I wound up having to spray them with insecticidal soap every three days. And a new, new group of aphids shows up. Um, I'd throw some ladybugs in there. But I don't think my wife would appreciate it too much. Them flying around the house. So we'll keep up with the insecticidal soap. Down here. Oh, see that we have uh, this year's crop of tomatoes already well on its way. Now all this pretty soon, uh, it's probably starting the beginning of March, will be going out in the greenhouse. I'm having no trouble now. It's getting a little bit warmer here. And uh, I'm having no trouble keeping the greenhouse up at 60 degrees pretty constantly with just the oil-filled uh, space heater. On a thermostat, it works out pretty good. Everything's doing doing real well. But that's about it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the uh, comment box, and I'll try and get back to you. Uh, have a good rest of the week, and get growing. We'll talk to you later. Bye.